Hello, amazing artists. In this video, we are going to learn how to design a rose window with our compass. We are going to need a normal piece of paper, a pencil, an eraser, a square set, and of course, a compass. Let's start by finding the midpoint of our paper. For that, I'm going to use the square set. I'm going to trace a diagonal line that goes from one side to the opposite side, and I'm going to do the same with the other sides. And right there where those two lines meet, that's going to be approximately the midpoint of our paper. Now I'm going to grab my compass, I'm going to put the needle on that point and I'm going to draw a circle. After that, I'm going to trace the two diameters of the circle. I'm going to use the set square because it has a 90 degree angle and that's going to make it easier for create two perpendicular lines. So now that I have the two diameters, you're going to see that they meet at four different points of the circle. So I'm going to grab my compass again and with the size of the radius, I'm going to go over and create two little arcs that meet in the circle, just like this. I started with one, I'm going with the next one, this is the third side, and last, the other point, and I'm going to trace those two little arcs. And we have a circle that is divided into 12 equal parts, just like a clock. I'm going to go ahead and write the hours from 1 to 12. And now we are going to match those points. I'm going to make a line from 11 to 5, from 10 to 4, and then from 7 to 1, and 8 to 2. Now our circle looks like a perfect wheel or a clock. And now we're going to apply the rule of 5. We're going to match each dot with the opposite dot by adding 5. So for example, from 12, I'm going to make a line and match it to 5. From 5, I'm going to add 5 and we're going to make a line that goes to 10. From 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, that makes us up 5 and I'm going to make another line from 3 to 8 and we're going to go ahead and do all those lines by adding always 5. So now from 8, I go to 1 from 1 to 6, from 6 to 11, from 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it goes to 4, from 4, 4 plus 5 is 9, 9 to 2, 2 plus 5 is 7, and from 7 to 12. And here we have a perfect start polygon of 12 sides that looks just beautiful. We're going to grab our compass again and we're going to open it a little bit more than the radius and we're going to draw an outer circle that it's going to frame our rose window. Now I want to make little circles between all those dots and for that I'm going to use coins that I have at home. In my case I'm using one cent coins. You can do this with your compass but I find it easier to do it with these coins. It's a little bit of cheating but I mean it doesn't matter because I think the final result just looks stunning. So now that I have my rose window drawn what we're going to do is we're going to grab our colors. In my case, I'm using color pencils, but you can use markers or even watercolors and start coloring your design with whatever color scheme you think it suits best your rose window. And voila, here we have our geometrical rose window design. Wasn't it easy? Don't forget to sign your name as the artist you truly are. And I really hope you learned something new in this video and I will see you very soon. Bye.